Uh, my name is John Wirth. Uh, my title is professor. I'm in the Department of Anthropology at the University of West Florida. We're standing in the middle of the Tristan de Luna settlement, the settlement that was here in Pensacola on the bay from 1559 to 1561. Today we're in the midst of our eight week long field school. So what we're doing today is essentially continuing day by day excavations down underneath the surface of the ground in this residential neighborhood hoping that we can eventually go through the artifact filled layers where all the debris and everything accumulated and eventually get down to the bottom and we're looking for post holes. We're looking for evidence of architecture, structures, uh, houses, maybe even things like the Royal Warehouse or there was a church as well. So the students are learning to do archaeology by doing archaeology here at the Luna Settlement. What we're doing here in this excavation is seeing if we can find traces of what their life was like. Uh, we've got trash pits, we've got all sorts of uh, horizontal distribution with like shells and burn bone. So it might be able to tell us something about the strategies they used um, to survive. How did, how did they get fish? How did they get deer? Um, what was their diet like? Did they have a lot of relief supply? So over time, we've gotten a good sense of how big the site is and then where the hot spots are. The, the Luna settlement is the first multi-year European settlement ever to happen in the continental United States. There is no earlier one. There are two earlier short-lived settlements in Florida and another one on the coast of Georgia. But Luna's settlement is the first one where they stayed several years. It was also the largest. Um, this is the biggest 16th century archeological site of Spaniards in all of the continental United States. It's bigger than St. Augustine and Santa Elena on the East Coast. It's bigger than downtown Santa Fe at the end of the 16th century in New Mexico. So we have the largest site. We have the earliest multi-year site. The fact that this settlement with all of its people living in it was right next to where their entire fleet wrecked right offshore is an amazing archeological opportunity because we have the ships that brought all these people and all these supplies that were literally at anchor that wrecked right offshore. And then we have the place where the supplies had been offloaded and this, the assemblage of pottery and different artifacts that we find on the shipwrecks versus what we find on land is, is identical. And it's an amazing opportunity to get a, a sampling of the terrestrial material culture of Spaniards and Aztecs and servants and their African slaves and others who lived here and then compare it and with the very same ships, not just any ship, but like literally the same ships that they came on. It's just, it's just amazing. I, I can't imagine another archaeological site area that would be more important than something like this for studies of early colonial expansion, European colonialism in the 16th century. It's just, just a phenomenal discovery and one that I hope we'll be studying for decades to come.